Alright and now. It's time to start working on the player health system and to fully working player mechanics. Player health mechanics. Uh, for that we will need to have new C Shark script. So let's go in the scripts folder and let's create new C Shark script. I already created one for us to use and I called it player health and I will assign this player health scripting to my player. So let's drag and drop a let's check. Yeah, indeed it's here. And let's double click to open in Visual Studio. Now here we will need few variables. One will be for the coolant health. So public float current health. We will do similar thing. Just like we did with the enemy health. We will need public float to max health. And public floats the damage amount. And well, let's go down and when our game starts. We want to start with a maximum help. So we will say current health equals max health. Now let's create public avoid ideal damage function. And here we will uh, say that this function will be called when the player should get damaged. So we'll say current health minus equal damage amounts. Again, so we're decreasing our health by damaging amounts. And also, if our current health is less or equal to zero, well, we want to restart our level and we will deal with it later. But for now, what we can do, we can just deactivate our player. For example, we select the player. You see it has this check mark in the inspector at the top left corner. If we uncheck this, our player won't be seen anymore. Our player is still part of the actual scene, but we are not able to see. So for now, let's just deactivate our player. SO to deactivate player. We just need to say game object dot set active. Any brackets we can say false. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Next step will be to call this deal damage fraction from some other script. And before we do that, let's save the script. Let's go back and let's create some spike. And just as a placeholder, let's go in the hierarchy's empty space. Right click free the object. And for example, let's choose fear. And let's call this one spike. And this will act like our obstacle for now. Obviously, we will deal with the enemies. I'm damaging player mechanics very shortly. But for now, just to check and play test. Uh, this fear will do its job. Now we will take this trigger in the uh. Spike sphere collider. So let's let's take this trigger. And now let's create another script. In the scripts folder. Let's call this one damage player. And we will assign this damage player into our sphere. Into our spike. So let's drag and drop it into the spike. Yeah, let's double click to open in Visual Study. Well, as I said, uh, we can use on trigger enter function. Uh, because our player has tag of player if you remember. And we can use this tag to check the collision between those two game objects. And to do that, we can say if father dots game object to tag double equals. And in quotation marks, we can say on um, player because it's the tag name of the player. And well, we should call the deal damage function from here. And it means that we need to have access to the script. And it also means that we should create instance. So you already saw how to create instance. We just need to say public static player. Health instance and by the way, we are doing it in the player health script not in the damage player script. A uh, we will create a wake function. And we will say instance equals this. Now we have access to the script. So let's say player help script. And let's go back in the damage player. And here we can say player health dot instance dots. Deal damage. That's it also a uh, what we can do. Or we can destroy our game object after we collide with it. But uh, for now, just to check if everything is working.
Let's save the script. And let's go back. Okay, we are back. Let's select player. Let's scroll down. We are we have player health script. And let's assign maximum health to be 10. For example, and damage amount to be 1. And I think everything is set. So now let's hit play. I will kill this monster first of all. Let's kill him and now. Let's I will select the player. Let's scroll down. We have the current health of 10 right now. Let's touch that spike. And now we have 9, 8. And every time we touch we have the health decreased. And let's see what will happen when our health gets to 0. Yeah, our player is deactivated. We can no longer move basically. So it means that this mechanic is working. Obviously, if you want to delete the spike. After the player touches it, you can say here destroy game object or simply. But I think I will leave it just for now. Without destroying it, I will leave it in the scene just for now. But obviously, if you want to destroy it, go ahead, feel free to do it. I'll end this video over here. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any new videos. See you in the next videos.